again, thank you very much for clicking to watch that video. As you may have realized by the title of it, I'm going to show you how to use your phone as a web camera so you can use it on Skype, on Zoom, or you can use it however you may like. The procedure is really, really simple and let's get started. So, the first step is to go on Google Play and search for Droidcom Wireless Webcam. Uh, don't you worry, I'm going to have the link down in the description box. So the only thing that you have to do is to check the description box and uh, you will be transferred here or in a similar interface and then you just click install. And um, Okay, this is my phone, so I'm going to click on continue. I have to verify in Google that I am who I say that I am, so let's just click next. I'm going to click on only app installs through play.google.com, but obviously you can change that. And then it says Droidcom Wireless Webcam will be installed on your device soon. Just click OK and you are done. You're almost done. So I'm now also in my phone and I have searched in Google Play Droidcom Wireless Webcam. And uh, as you can see, it says uninstall or open. So it means that I already have that on my phone. Let's very quickly check that. Okay, and here it is. I'm going to click on it. Thank you for downloading Droidcom. Droidcom turns your Android into a webcam for your PC or into a network IP web camera accessible over HTTP. I'm going to click next and there are some uh, configurations. Very quickly, I'm going to do that as well. Okay, so now I'm back on my desktop and I am on dev47apps.com and I'm going to download the Windows client. I'm using Windows, so let's also do that. Okay, I'm going to click once again on the Droid right here and uh, I think that I will download something where it's executable file, so let's also check that. Okay, let's download it. Next step is to connect the client and phone up. So let's also click into that link. And here we have like different options as to connect via Wi-Fi, USB for Android, USB for iOS, connect via internet browser or another device. And then we have Wi-Fi server mode Droidcom X only. I'm going to click on the first option, which is connect via Wi-Fi. Okay, and here are the options. Uh, the first step is to turn on Wi-Fi on your phone and connect to your home network as you would normally do. That's easy. Start the phone app. The app will show Wi-Fi IP and port information. If the IP is all zeros, you're not properly connected to a Wi-Fi network. Note, if you're using your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, its IP is usually something like that. Okay, we got that. On the PC client, make sure the connection method is Wi-Fi LAN. Enter the IP and port is displayed on the phone and click Start. Okay, let's do that step. Oh, and obviously in the meantime, don't forget to, to check the executable file. The installation here is like pretty normal. I'm back on my phone and I am on, um, you know, like the description that we saw earlier. I'm going to click on Got It. And it says Allow to Android Com to take photos and record videos. Again, I'm going to click Allow. And again, like Allow. Okay, and now I have like the um, information. So I'm going to take those information and I'm going to use it on my desktop. So let's go back into that. I have opened here the, the Droidcom client, which we just installed. And for the device IP, I'm going to use my IP. Uh, it says video and audio. Um, Okay, I'm just going to click audio as well. I'm going to click on start. 
Okay, and now I can see that the audio is also connected. And yep, guys, that's it. That's my setup for now. Um, okay, I can show you my keyboard because I think that it looks pretty cool. Okay guys, and just like that, we are actually connected. You don't have to do anything else. Now I'm using my phone and not my desktop. So I hope that you like that result and I hope that you like that video. Let's go back. Okay guys, that was it. As you saw, the procedure is kind of simple. You don't have to do all the things, just uh, check the description box so you will find all the links that you may need. And the only thing that you need is really a desktop and a mobile phone and voila. Bye! Oh, and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I don't want to for again. But no, again.